In this video, I'm going to show you a bunch of examples of how to evaluate powers when the exponents are negative. Okay, so to start with, we have 5 to the exponent negative 3. So that's equal to the reciprocal of 5, which is 1 over 5, to the exponent positive 3. And that's equal to, we've got 1 cubed is 1, and 5 cubed is 125. And if we start with uh, a fraction like one half to the exponent negative four, then it's still going to be this is still going to be equal to the reciprocal of the base, which in this case is two to the exponent positive four. So two four eight sixteen. That's sixteen. All right. Here we've got three fourths to the exponent negative two. So we take the reciprocal of the base. 4 thirds to the exponent 2, which is equal to 16 over 9. Just square the top and the bottom. Okay, this one looks a little bit different. Um, it's actually pretty easy. I'll tell you what it is, and then I'll give you another extra explanation for why that works. So here, I'm going to claim that this is just 1 over 4 to the negative 2. I'm going to claim that that's just 4 squared, which is 16. So there's, uh, let's see, I'll write proof here. So what I'm claiming is that if you have a negative exponent in the denominator, you can just change that to a positive exponent in the numerator, just sort of move it up to the top and make the exponent positive. So here's a longer way of doing it. This is equal to 1 over, and if I take the reciprocal of the base here, I've got 1 fourth squared, which is equal to 1 over 1 sixteenth. And another way of writing that is 1 divided by 1 sixteenth. But if we divide by a fraction, uh, we can uh, take the reciprocal of the second number or flip it. And multiply. Okay, so that's why this works, uh, but you don't have to do that every time. If you have a negative number in the denominator, you can just put it in the numerator and make it a positive. Sorry, if we have a negative exponent in the denominator, we can put that power in the numerator and make it a positive exponent. Okay, next one down here on e. So negative 6 over 5 to the exponent negative 2. So that's going to be equal to negative 5 over 6 to the exponent 2. So notice that the negative in the base is just completely unrelated to the negative in the exponent. It doesn't, the negative in the exponent has nothing to do with whether the base is positive or negative. Okay, and now negative 5, 6 times negative 5, 6, because I'm squaring it, that's going to be positive, and that would be 25 over 36. Okay, this one looks a little bit different. It's 0 0.1 to the exponent negative 5. Um, powers are one of the times when it's much easier to deal with fractions than it is to deal with exponents, as than it is to deal with decimal numbers. So let's change this right away. 0 0.1 is 1 tenth. So that's 1 tenth to the exponent negative 5. So I haven't, I haven't done anything to the exponent yet. I've just changed my decimal to a fraction. And now it's much more obvious to do what to do. So I'll take the reciprocal, take, because of my exponent is negative, I'll take the reciprocal of the base. So I'll have 10 to the exponent 5, which is 10 with 5 zeros, 100,000. Okay, so I just changed my decimal to a fraction, and then I just went about like normal. All right, and one last one here. One third to the exponent negative three. So we'll take the reciprocal of the base, which is just three, and that makes the exponent positive. And three cubed, three times three times three is twenty-seven. Okay, good luck. 